Greetings and salutations from yours truly, Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. And I wanted to talk about something that, as you can tell from the title, is going to be about. Which is that glorious word I have said, mortis portais, and has flown from my lips. Adoption. I have seen more than enough depictions of negativity towards adoption in this country, as it is. You know, when I was growing up, it was kind of a glory for someone to be adopted. You also get parents that are ashamed to know that their child was adopted. They didn't give birth to them, and yet that child looks just like them and acts just like they do. And heck, on top of it, is appreciative of them. And that's just awe shocking to them. This is the worst thing you could ever think of. Okay. Or worse. I also, this this rant has been inspired by a movie that I'm not going to say what the title is. I just flat out do not understand the people and how adoptions and how we perceive adoptions in America are. I have seen times where the parents think that they own the children. And because, hey, I'm the biological contributor, so I'm going to go forth and look for them. Which is all well and good, but the problem is, that child doesn't know you. I like that you want to take that risk, but, you know, I can understand someone like me going out and looking for my adoptive parents. I mean, not my adoptive parents, sorry, my bio of people, because, hey, I want to know about health reasons health problems, you know, um, just what the heck they look like, and also reasons why they put me up for adoption, because I used to think they put me up for adoption because they didn't have room, you know, because you, know, you had too many children, and you know what happens, it means someone's got to leave the nest, so, and I could accept those reasons. Even as a child, I could have accepted that reason. I mean, I felt sad because it's like, oh, okay. But it happens. You know, not, not every birth or not every pregnancy that comes in is a planned one. It just happens. It's just very upsetting when that happens. Um, also, you have people like, okay, this Pomona. That's another one. I'm not going to go see it. Not because I think it's a bad movie. I just get tired of everyone's depiction of how adoption works. And then you have movies like uh, Mamma Mia. You know, I understand children going, see, they have Mamma Mia. Even though that one is not an adoption, it's just the fact that um, the woman still has a child out of wedlock. But by the way, a lot of us adopted children are. And you know, whether we like it or not. Mother and father did not give birth to us until, did not adopt us until, you know, or put us up for adoption. But no, that's not entirely true, actually. Because there are probably exceptions, you know, some people may put the child up for adoption because they have, like, six kids already and the seventh one is just not going to fly. Okay, but, you know, I understand that. That's fine, but adopt, you know, I, I would hate that, but it's life. It also sucks when, you know, you could have had a sibling, but it's not that bad since I've seen siblings, and, you know, maybe there's a reason why uh, Cain and Abel, Jacob and Esau used to kill each almost killed each other, and there is that reason, actually, I think, 
I think there's Isaac and someone else's child. It's in the Bible. You can look it up. So, you look it up. And you Christians, you, you illiterates. But anyways, um, I, being a, being a child of adoption, kind of feel like, yeah, I want to know my, a bio people, only because of those reasons. You know, just my origin, that's all. Uh, and also, I don't like the depiction, like, okay, there's another thing. A television show. That's it. What is it with our society and parents thinking, oh, well, since it's not my child, how dare they? You know, how, oh my god, we gotta keep it a secret from our baby. It's like, just tell them. Oh, and then you get people who are not even your parents. This is besides the point. You know, adoptive or otherwise. You know, who look down upon you. Like, you know, kids at school. Like, we were watching something about some kid who, yeah, it was the year that Dolly Parton was my mother. I don't really think the re now see I can only side with that story because she just wanted to know, but I would think here's my problem with the whole story is even though I'm adopted, I know good and damn well my bio person probably wouldn't be someone famous. I am pretty much thinking I might be Irish. I have bitches that pro but I might have picked that out from something else, so who knows? You, you pick it up anywhere, but that's besides the point. Okay. Anyways, adoption to me in this country has either been seen as a thing where it's just kind of an ugly, ugly, ugly thing, and I am tired of the depiction of it. Since, hey, I didn't ask to be born. I just needed someone to take care of me. That's all. But, and even then, even then, children get to a point where mom and dad don't need to be involved in, like, every aspect of their life, okay? No offense. There's that point, too. I have issues with that. Not because I spit upon it. I do not spit upon it. But parents or anything is not so down upon parents at all. It's just, I think, I get tired of all the negative depictions of abduction, okay? I'm not saying we have to add, like, oh, oh, pretend that we have to accept those children. Because to me, that's like saying every time your mom gets a divorce, you're supposed to accept, like, you know, and, well, actually, no, you learn to accept that guy. You don't like him necessarily, you love him. However, he may not be your bio dad, you know, like, well, we're not going to go into the issue. So she's okay, we're done there. I can't judge you for your parents and your life or anything that's between you and your parents. Only. And there you go. Uh, I mean, I think it's sweet. But I cannot go see movies like that anymore that don't quite understand the idea of that. And I really don't want to sit through films like that. It's just depressing. Okay. And I wish we could maybe make adoption a little less hated in this country. Or not hated, but maybe not seen so badly. So, um, Hollywood, could you please get on that? I know I probably wasted about a 9 to 10 minute rant on this, but I felt it needed to be said. Anyways, thanks! And if you, um, also, I now have 25, I have, count them, 25 uh, followers on Tumblr. Please, if you, uh, follow Tumblr. I also have 52 Twitter followers. And now, 
As you see by my little box down below the subscription button and everything, I now have 46 subscribers. Isn't that just awesome? Huh. And if you wish to do that, please click the subscribe button if you wish to. Go follow me further on this channel, and I will put my a pussy. <sighs> so, my, the links down in the description box. So, thank you. This is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Round, signing out. Ha. And all those goodbye things, baby.